huge. <laughs> a day like this one, Nelson Mandela, a legal practitioner, Barack Obama, a lawyer. How does George Bezos feel? The contribution of the legal fraternity to the struggle for freedom. Well, I was three years behind Nelson Mandela at Wits University. He wanted to be an advocate, but they didn't allow him. He became an attorney. Three years later, I became an advocate and got a lot of work from Nelson Mandela and Oliver Tambo which uh, gave me an opportunity to do a lot of work for people who were ignored by the administration of justice. And uh, he actually praised me for what I did for the people who didn't have very much money, if any. And, uh, when he was convicted for uh, 27 years, I became his regular visitor on the island and then uh, on, uh, uh, in, in the Cape uh, for five years. And uh, when he was released, we became very good friends. We did a lot of work together when he was president. When he finished being president, his wife, Grasha, and my wife, Aretik, and he and I, for two weeks, we went to Greece on a holiday. Do you want to continue with the interview or no, should we leave it? No, is fine. It's okay. He's getting very emotional. Posthumously, you continue to work for him. Why do you continue to work? You said yourself, I'm a 90-year-old man now. Well, you know, he was an example of being a human being. He didn't worry that I was white and he was black, or that I... Was did a case for whatever color a person was. And uh, this was himself. He said, I want to be a human being. And South Africa belongs to all those who are living in it. There are people who say he didn't get it right. He got it very well for all of us. Today we're talking about Nelson Mandela's legacy. What is the importance of a legacy? That in relation to the administration of justice, you honor it, you don't do favors, you do, don't do wrong, but you love your people, you do the best for, for them, and Nelson Mandela was an example for the world to follow. Why are you so emotional today? What do you do when your best friend dies? Thank you so much for talking to us. It's really been a pleasure and an honor. Quite an emotional conversation there with Mr. George Bezos. Thank you so much. We're going to release you to go and join the event. We're just going to give a moment to uh, Mr. George Bezos' helper to come and take him to go. Are you his grandchild? Oh my word. What's your name? Uh, Nicholas Bezos. Yeah.
Nicholas, I was talking to your granddad about the legacy of the legal fraternity in the achievement of freedom in South Africa. The speaker today is a lawyer, so was uh, former President Nelson Mandela. Why did you go into law? Uh, unfortunately, Mr. Sequoia is uh, misinformed. I'm an actuary. But, uh, I mean, laws played an important role, both pre-democracy and post-democracy, keeping South Africans safe and keeping South Africans empowered and speaking truth to power. And I hope President Obama will talk to that today again. But President Obama has been speaking a lot about bringing youth into activism. How are you active in your society? So I like to look after my wife who's a doctor. So she's the one who's responsible for uh, keeping society healthy. So uh, I like to look at it as an indirect contribution at the moment. Uh, but otherwise, just trying to... Zuhale, my director is asking me to wrap this up quickly. What's the importance of this day for you? It's uh, um, the best day that we have as the directors of the National Mandela Foundation. And uh, it's the highest of our programs. It's the biggest of our projects. And this one is bigger than all of them because it's a celebration of his centenary. Now, it's about his legacy. And legacy means that which he has left behind. And there are two things. One, he has left the legacy of struggle against what is wrong. And two, the legacy of standing up for what is good, the values of social justice, of human rights, of economic rights, the freedom, non-racialism, and of course, uh, equality amongst all peoples. That's Nelson Mandela. You know, Nelson Mandela was a boxer and there's a lot of hype around Barack Obama speaking today. But as a member of the Nelson Mandela Foundation, is it important who speaks or is it the message? Um, it's not important who speaks and it's not important who, who, who's a crowd puller. What is important is for us to provide space for different uh, people from across the world, for them to come and express their views and we believe that they can spark and instigate certain debates. We don't invite people because we agree with them. Now, we started with the Clinton, Obama. There are many things you disagree with Obama about, foreign policy of the United States and all sorts of things. But Obama on, on us are married uh, to the hip in so far as a struggle for equality and the struggle against uh, discrimination and against uh, uh, those who violate human rights is concerned. And, and of course, I was privileged to be the one who introduced Obama as well as Nelson Mandela. The picture that people are seeing across the world of Obama standing over Madiba was taken actually by myself. That's right, it was taken by me. It was in a hotel, in a, in a, in a bedroom of Nelson Mandela. So that photograph uh, was taken by myself, but it was his camera. And we're not allowed, as you know, to use um, a flash. That's why the picture shows Madiba a bit more clearer than Obama who's in the shed. Well, really, you could all enjoy the event. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks very much indeed.